start, guys. George Kramer, Village Blacksmith. I uh, rigged up some quick connects for the induction forge as a uh, beta test to see if it's actually going to work. My worry is that the uh, springs and the balls inside the uh, quick connects are going to heat up, which could cause failure. Um, but we're going to give it a shot. I haven't tried this yet. Let's uh, see what happens. This is one inch round bar. So far, so good. And we're about 17 seconds. Right now, we're uh, just below critical temp. It looks brighter on the camera than it is. Uh, right now, we're in the critical temp range, transformation temperature. Uh, a little bit brighter, 42 seconds. Um, I'm not seeing a uh, any performance issues right now from what, what it has in the past. Now, the thing I'm concerned about... Wow, these are hot. These are hot. So they do heat up. So I think to remedy this, we have to come out real wide with the uh, real wide with the uh, offset bends. If that doesn't work, then I, I wouldn't advise doing it because these things were up by feel, they were up probably close to 100 degrees. I'm gonna shut the machine off and uh, I'm gonna disconnect the quick connects. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it just releases without any issue. I don't see any issue here. Um, I believe I paid something like 11 bucks for these two fittings. And these are exact same fittings that are on the back of the cooling machine, that this cheap ass TIG cooler, whatever it is, 400 and whatever dollars it is on Amazon. Um, but these did get noticeably hot. Uh, they did hold. I'm going to re-engage, turn the machine back on to see if the seal is uh, still intact. It's kind of hard to do with the phone in one hand. Bear with me. Turn the water cooler back on. So no leaks. So I'm not sure if it's the proximity between the two of these or the proximity between this and the unit or just the overall output amperage. Uh, if we got an electrical engineer in the group, of course, we could comment on this. Uh, I, uh, let me grab a tape measure real quick and see what I got for a spacing between those. So we're, we're actually just under two inch from inside to inside. All right, guys, that's enough to chew on. Let me know what you think. Uh, recommendations. Uh, they cool right back down when it goes on there, but I don't think for long-term operation uh, it's advisable. Uh, I am going to fiddle around later on in the future and see if we make this distance greater to see if that eliminates that issue, but I, I'm not sure if it has a lot to do with the output amperage or not. All right, 
there it is experiment it does work I didn't see any decreases in efficiency however the fittings did start to heat up uh, I don't know if these are aluminum I think they're anodized aluminum um, I don't know if the aluminum is causing any kind of issue or not uh, but the springs inside here uh, there's two springs inside here and four ball bearings when you I drilled these out these were drilled with a, uh, I believe a 15 64 um, drill bit and then the original coil that comes with the machine just slides right in there once that's drilled out and then uh, this end over here the uh, the out the inputs actually slide right into the original piping so um, if you want to try this it's up to you one thing I would recommend is after you're done brazing or, or I braze these on after you're done brazing or soldering uh, flush them out and blow them out with air hose that way scale doesn't accumulate in the line and work its way through the cooler all right guys that's about it